Well, first of all, there are two issues. I was listening to the gentleman before. In terms of impartiality, I don't know when the BBC have ever been impartial. In fact, BBC's reporting on the Qatar World Cup was anything but impartial. So it seems that they want to pick and choose when they want to be impartial. Criticising others or criticising other countries or other political parties or other religions seems to be OK. But of course, if you then criticise what goes on in this country, then it seems that they will then come out with this impartiality rule. The second thing, which a lot of people took um, offence to, is, is the perception that Gary was, was equating um, Britain to, to Nazi Germany, which he wasn't. What he said was the language used regarding the refugees is similar to the language used in 1930s Germany, which it was. And of course, we can see how that ended up. And I'm, Gary is not saying, I'm not saying that that's how it's going to end up. But of course, the language used in terms of creating this perception of an unworthy refugee, very much like the Jews were unworthy um, to be German and Germans were better than Jews. That was the language that was used. And that's what we're saying here. We're talking about the, 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 the refugees coming over and the language used towards the refugees coming over on boats in terms of them being rapists, in terms of them being criminals, is different to the refugees from the Ukraine. And that is what we have to, to, to address. And that is what I'd want Gary and everybody supporting him to talk about. Us talking about the worthiness of different groups of people, because that's how discrimination starts. Be it men, women towards uh, the men, in terms of the worthiness of a woman towards a man, blacks towards whites, gays towards straight people, and a Syrian refugee coming over on a boat as in relation to a Ukrainian refugee coming over. We don't hear language from the Ukrainian refugees situation talking about rapists and murderers, but we hear it about the Iraqis and the Syrians. And that's what I would like Gary and people to talk about, the worthiness of everybody, including the, the Syrian refugees, in relation to the Ukrainian refugees. Look, you raise some really important points and points that many people are going to have strong views about, right? But I guess what some would argue is that, is Gary Lineker the right person to be entering this debate? He's paid licence fee money, uh, he is presenter of the BBC's flagship uh, programme. Is it right that this kind of political uh, uh, debate should be entering the world of sport? Should Gary Lineker, would, would Gary Lineker be the right person to talk about the LGBTQ rights and human rights in Qatar? We can't have it both ways, we accept that. So why can't he talk about it here? So this is the point I'm making about impartiality, and we're saying that stick to sports. But when we want to criticise other countries or other religions, we then say, yes, let the sports people come out and talk about that, but don't criticise what goes on in this country. We can't have it both ways.